get your jacket on. Get your shoes on. Oh. Turn off the lights. Keys. List. Baby. You get in your car. You get your stunner shades on. And you make your way. I'm making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces past my homebound. Do -do 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 -do. Find you a good parking spot. Go on in there. You go over here behind the bananas next to the nuts. Oh, okay. Usually you're going to see a yellow version of this instead of the red. That's what I usually get, but you can use this. I already have a banana, frozen pineapple chunks, and strawberries. I have pina colada juice. Found it. You want to go to rice and beans ish area. Look and find the soy sauce stuff. Here we have your selection of coconut milk in a can. Milk. Not cream. Milk. Usually around here is where, where you'll find pineapple juice, but they don't have any, so, but that's okay. I'll show you what you can substitute when we get home. Driving in Memphis, where big things are popping and little stuff stopping. Okay, with these dates, you're gonna want to cut them in half. Get this little end piece off and get the pit out of it, okay? This is for the smoothies. Let me just see. Okay, I have my six dates, large, cut open. Put these ah, in the pot. You cover just enough water to fill, cover them up, put it on the burner. Turn it on high. Wait. All right, when it starts bubbling like that, it's ready. Turn this off. Take this off. Get these out. Oh, they look so gross, that's why I hate these. Chop your banana in half. Get the peel off. And the banana. A half a cup of these, a half a cup of these, put these in there, open this, half a cup, put it in there. This is what I substitute if I can't find pineapple juice. One third cup, put it in there, some ice. Ice. Take it to the blender station. Uh oh. Make sure your blender is plugged in. <laughs> blend. Let it blend for like a couple minutes. Okay, probably just one minute. And here we have our smoothie. Woo. I don't have a straw, but ideally that's what you would drink it with. Tropical sunrise without the taste of dates, but with all the nutrition. <laughs> oh, brain freeze. Ads in my back. Oh. It hurts. Do not do this in labor. Do not do that in labor. You're okay. Just breathe. All right, you ready to move on to the toaster sandwiches? Toasty Sammies. I'm gonna make both versions of these toaster sandwiches. I've got a double wide toaster so I can do all four pieces at the same time. Got our toast. Some butter it. Butter it. I have here goat cheese that kind of comes in a tube like this so just get some and kind of spread it on there it's easier when the bread is still super hot or I guess you could probably melt the goat cheese too if you wanted to it'd be easier to spread on there 
cut up your fruit dates again. If you have to get the pit out, see, you want to cut it open and get the pit out. But if you got the yellow version that doesn't have pits, then you can just go ahead and put them on your sandwich. Okay, this is how you're going to put them on the sandwich. Just neat little rows. Huh. See? Make it fit like that. Add Italian seasoning. Salt. Some pepper. Put the lid on. And squish it. Squish it good. <laughs> And you should be pretty big and pregnant by now, so you can just go find your favorite spot and put your little plate and your sandwich on your belly and just eat it like this. Mm -hmm. If you can still taste them too much, just feel free to come back and get some more chunks of goat cheese and just put some chunkies in there because that way you'll taste the cheese more instead of the dates. Like I said, not for everybody, but that's why we have option number two. Peanut butter jelly time. Without the jelly, just peanut butter time. This was actually my preferred way of getting these dates in every day, and I just made it as a toaster sandwich in the morning for breakfast. That way I got it out of the way and over with for the rest of the day. Make your little rose like so. Put the lid on it. And squish it. Squish it good. And make sure all their little hats are off. You don't want to eat those. <laughs> Yep. Tastes like I'm gonna have a baby soon. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you how to do tea. This is the kind I used. Organic pregnancy tea from traditional medicinals. I'm gonna use one, two, three, four. I poured eight ounces in there. Sometimes you can do just maybe ten because some evaporates. Put the lid on. I always forget to put the lid on. Put your teas open. Get the teas out, and they've got cute little sayings. Oh, it smells so good. They got cute little sayings on them, like. Okay, where's the other half of that? That's weird. What? <laughs> okay, like, there is pleasure in the pathless woods. <laughs> Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Earth laughs in flowers. You get your friend's mug that your grandmother gave you for Christmas, even though she has no idea what friends is. You put your tea in there. Wait for the whistle. This. Pour it in here. And I used like a little cup that my son eats snacks out of. And honestly, I eat snacks out of them too. But I just covered it, put it over there, left it alone all night, get some ice, get the tea bags out, pour it in your glass. And drink that tea! This concludes this video. Say I forgot something. I forgot I put some sweetener in it too, so. And that's just to your taste. I like about three. That's better. That tastes like what I've tasted before. <laughs> Alright, that's the end. Thank you.